at 13, I got I got caught up. I got locked up. Right. 13, I mean. So what was your perspective on the streets at, you know, a young age? Like, were you, was this something that you were tempted by or was it something you were always kind of involved in? Yeah, I was just outside. Every time I go outside, it was just... Just trouble happening. Mm. You know, we young and we young and dumb, so we, it was just stuff happening. And I was just, I just happened to be in the mix and getting caught up. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And so, how'd you get caught when you were 13? What were you doing? Yeah, but I, I cut somebody. You know what I'm saying? At what age did you start carrying razors? Uh, somebody gave me that razor. You know what I'm saying somebody gave me that razor. The first time I cut somebody, somebody gave me that razor. The second time I cut somebody. I cut somebody in the same, like, the four-month span. Second time I cut somebody, I grabbed it from my aunt. Her dresser, she had a little razor. I just grabbed it and took it to school with me. Right. And then I got in a situation in school, and I cut the dude in school. And then I went to DFY from, from both of them cases for two years. What gave you the idea that you needed to, like, stab him in school instead you of know, just You know, school, everybody, everybody's, they doing stuff. They bullying kids, stuff like that. Right. Like I told you, I was just a quiet kid that was just... You know what I'm saying? But you knew a, a bunch of other people that were carrying razors at the time? Like, nah. that was kind of some normal thing? Nah, not really. Nah, it's just that the the, uh, the first time I cut somebody, they jumped me. So my friend was like, yo, we're going to go see who that was, and he gave me the razor. Mm-hmm. It was an armed box cutter. So we went to find who the person was, and then I, when, we found, when we found them, I cut them. Right. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. jumped me before that, like, probably a couple of days before that, they jumped me. Right. So I went and told some dudes, and they said, yo, we're going to ride with you. I rode with them, and then he gave me a razor and said, yo, take this razor. And you cut his face? Yeah. And then uh, did you end up, like, seeing him around and having to see the scar? Kind of now, I seen it, it right there when it split open. Right. And when it first split open, I was like, damn. Then I just went home, and then, like, probably a couple of days later, police came to the house looking for me. This guy told, or how'd they find out about it? I'm not sure. I think my name was, somebody said my name and all that. They say, yo, yeah, say, come on. And then they put two and two together. And then, I don't know, they just tracked me down. Three, four days later, they came to my house. Right. For me. And how much time did you end up doing in jail for this? Like two years, 13 to 15 years old. 13 to like 16. At the end of my 13th, like I was about to turn 14, all the way till I was 16. Uh-huh. Then I got locked up again when I turned 17. So... The, that first two year bid, what did that do to you mentally? Like, was it did well, that two turn... year? That two year bid, I mean, I mean, that turned me a little bit. I know it was it was different. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't. You're meeting I, a lot of kids who are worse yeah, than that you, was, right? Yeah, that was bad. Yeah, then right. I started really being friends with the bad kids. Before I wasn't really friends with the bad kids like that. I used to be cool with them, but not really. You know what I mean? Doing stuff with them. But it's all these bad kids from all over the yeah, city so now kind of coming together, different. right? Yeah, so I grew up around that for like two years. And I was young, mm. 13 to 15, 16. So I'm like, it started being a little bit. Not, I still wasn't bad, mm-hmm. but I just knew how to move different. Like I started to learn how to fight better. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So I felt more confident. And then, you know what I'm saying? People were carrying guns at this time in your neighborhood or not that you know of? No, nah, not that I know of. Yeah, at that age. But when I came home from DFY, yeah, they was carrying guns. So what'd you get arrested for when you were 16? Yeah, 16, 17. What, what'd you get arrested for that second time? Well, that time I got a couple of charges. I shot somebody in the neck. And then, you know what I'm saying? One of my friends robbed me that I was doing business with. He robbed me. Then I went to go get some guns in the Bronx. Uh-huh. And on the way back, I got caught with the guns. You know what I mean? Had a big shoot up with the police and shot a police and a bystander. Wow. So okay, that first uh, shooting somebody in the neck. How the fuck did that happen? That was that was happening because you know somebody uh try to. You know what I mean, it, 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 niggas I had beef with somebody. You know what I'm saying, I, you know what I mean, I tried they robbed me. Then after that, I went. And I found. I seen them. I seen this. No, I told the same story on Queens Flip. So okay. Yeah, I don't want to. You know what I mean. Seems like I keep bragging about, mm. you know what I mean, my gunplay, but. Where do you even, like, when did you first realize that you needed to carry a gun? Really, I wasn't really carrying guns, you know what I'm saying? Even to this day, I don't really carry guns. I just only use them to use them. That's it. Like, I wasn't really just a person to be walking around with a gun, you know what I'm saying? It's just that when it's, when it's time for some action, that I go get the gun and then I just use it. 
So I wasn't really the person to be carrying guns like that. New York's a stressful place to carry a gun. Yeah, especially yeah, especially from New York. I don't be wanting to get caught with no gun on me, stuff like that. Right. You know what I'm saying? So Okay, but so then you went back in, was it the same kind of jail or was it like a different Oh no, nah, it was different. This is the big boys, Rikers Island. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's just way crazier? Yeah, way crazier. So what kind what kind of stuff are you getting into in there that you what type of stuff? Didn't know about beforehand. Rikers Island was different because I had a high pl- profile case. I was on the news when you know what I'm saying when I, with the police situation. So as soon as I got there, everybody knew me. Uh huh. I had beef with all the police. You know what I'm saying all the inmates knew me. Oh, because of this shootout yeah, thing yeah, with the cops. It was automatically. It was. It was everywhere. This is the one where you dropped the gun on the subway. Yeah. Okay. I, you know what I mean? I let it off first, and then I threw it, dropped it. Who'd you let it off on again? I would just. I would just. Whoever was chasing me, they was undercover. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I didn't really know what was going on. I just, it was like, yo, get him. I'm saying, hey, you stop. And I just turned around and then I popped. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. And you know, I had the the police and a a bystander. I'm saying. So they definitely weren't feeling you. Nah. After that, they they normally came and locked me up. It was all it was on the news. They was mad news. People was out there. But so you got away, or they just like tackled you on the spot? I got caught right there. I got away a little bit. The train was pulling off, and then they stopped the train. Mm. I'm saying then I was I was sitting down. Police came, opened two doors. Then they see me. It was a person near me with a book bag. So they checked this bag and was like, "This, let me check your bag." They checked this bag, and then they just looked at me. And I just looked at, I probably looked at suspicious. And then they just said, yo, you. And then they took me and they put cuffs on me. I mean, I was with my friend. They locked him up first outside the train. Mm-hmm. Then when they seen me, I was on the train. So they stopped the whole train. They probably, they knew I ran on the train. You know what I'm saying? So when I was on the train, they they just locked me up from there. And then as soon as I got out the train, they were in cuffs. It was, you know I mean, news reporters, everybody was already ready. We just hit 600,000 subscribers on the Clips channel right here. We're trying to get to 700, so you know what to do. Smack that red button and subscribe. Appreciate you.